addicted to buying makeup because of YouTube. I have nowhere near any of these beauty gurus. Like, you're not gonna see a collection with me with drawers for the makeup because that will, I, I can't do that to myself. It would drive me crazy. I barely wear makeup as it is. I wear makeup in my YouTube videos. And if I wear makeup to work once a week, that's saying something. I really don't wear makeup all that much. Um, so why I have as much as I do, YouTube. So I start with lipstick. Ruby Woo. Okay. I got caught up in the hype, people. And I got Ruby Woo. And though, so, yes, it is a beautiful red. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Um, it dries out my lips so much that I it makes me not even want to wear it. And I don't use it. You see, I've had it for almost two years now and look how much it used. Like, it's a beautiful shade though. It's a beautiful shade. Another MAC lipstick that I purchased because of YouTube is the Rebel color lipstick. I've worn this um, a little bit more because it's not as drying. Um, I really like this shade, this um, berry kind of a shade. I'm sure you're familiar with it. I mean, it was really, really popular. I feel like maybe last year or a lot of people were wearing it last year, but as you can see, I haven't really used it all that much. But I do like the color. Also, a lipstick that was really popular maybe a couple of years ago was this one from Wet n Wild. The 902C one. I actually really like this shade a lot. I don't wear it on its own a lot, like with the brown lips liner and just um, this color because it, it's very light for my shade. It's really chalky, but what I like to do is I'm wearing it actually right now. I'm wearing it over a lipstick that I wore and I just put it in the center, kind of like highlighting the center of my lips. That's what I use this lipstick for. So I do use this a lot, even though you can't really tell looking at it, um, but I do use it a lot. This is a recent um, purchase for me. Uh, another nudie shade um, from Revlon, 820 Pink Cognac. I saw this, this um, I forget the YouTuber that she was doing swatches of the new Revlon lipstick colors and I saw this one on her lips and I thought that it was really, really nice. It's very, very sheer and I love the Revlon lipsticks because they're just so moisturizing to the lips. Like, I'll take this over MAC Ruby Woo any day because my lips ain't gonna be looking like no chapped hot mess. The next thing I'm gonna show you in makeup are the makeup tools. The uh, e.l.f. powder brush. I purchased this mainly because of Makeup Game On Point. She raved, raved about this um, brush and uh, I understand the hype. And for $3, I can't really complain. I have purchased three of these brushes. Um, and in a sense, you get what you pay for in that, you know, they're not the highest quality. They do come apart, you know, like this. But they still work. So I'm not throwing them away. I love them. They're great for blending. Absolutely love this powder brush from e.l.f. And another brush from e.l.f. that Makeup Game On Point raved about was the blush brush from e.l.f. And I love this one as well to apply my blush, obviously, but also to apply um, my highlighting powder that goes under my eye. And I love this brush so much that I have too. Now, a makeup brush that is also popular, very popular on YouTube, I still feel like people use them in tutorials right now is um, the Real Technique brushes. I haven't been able to buy all the brushes, like the face brushes and stuff like that because like you saw, I have, you know, the powder brush from e.l.f. that I use to put on my foundation and my powders and all that stuff. So I can't make sense of buying another brush to apply foundation to anything, but what I did want to try, I wanted to try the eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques. So I, this actually I just recently purchased, like maybe a month ago. It's all right, I don't understand the hype about them. They, they okay, they're good, whatever. 
One of my favorite, favorite makeup purchases from YouTube is the Beauty Blender. I'm not gonna say a bad thing about this thing. This is, this is perfection. Makes your makeup just look so nice. It, oh, it blends it so nicely. Like, I'm, if you watch any of the makeup gurus here on YouTube, I'm pretty sure a majority of them use this and I'm pretty sure a majority of them rave about it. And if you don't have this, you can get your life and get you a beauty blender. And I'm just gonna put this one up because I don't even wanna talk about it. Um, I got caught up in the hype and I got it just like everybody else got it. I'm mad about this purchase mainly because of the cost. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see this cost of $23? $23? $23. No worries. Another or other MAC products that I purchased because of YouTube were eyeshadows. And these are the eyeshadows that I purchased. Mainly these three are ones that I purchased because of YouTube. But this one is Swiss Chocolate, Rice Paper, and Extensive Pink. And I use these a lot. I really like neutral colors for my eyes. So I actually use this palette a lot. It wasn't so much a waste of money, I'll say that. Now this palette that I'm going to show you right now is so old, it's not even funny. I heard about this palette when I first um, started watching YouTube and I purchased it then and I still have it. I love it and I know why other people loved it as well. Um, you're not going to hear many people talk about it anymore because it has so been discontinued. Um, <laughs> If anybody else still has it, I'll be surprised. But this is the Vanity Plant palette from Wet n Wild. Um, really nice shades. One side is matte and another side is shimmer. I use matte more. Neutral colors. I'm a neutral girl for the most part with um, eyeshadows. Blush. I purchased this blush. This color Cinnamon by NYX or NYX because of... What is her name? What is her name? Tierra Monet. I purchased it because of Tierra Monet, and um, she's the one that made me realize that orange blushes are very nice on darker skin tones. So I'm happy with this purchase as well. I don't know if I'm ever gonna hit pan though. I mean. I really don't understand how people have so much makeup product, like, there's just no way you're going to be able to finish it. Max Pro Long Wear Concealer, also purchased because of YouTube, Revlon's Color Stay, um, so many, so many uh, makeup gurus or beauty gurus um, spoke about the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Really random, but which hazel? <laughs> Once again, makeup game on point. She got me on this um, because in the beginning stages when I was wearing makeup, I wasn't really cleaning my face correctly. And makeup game on point taught me that, you know, I can use this to, you know, you initially take the makeup off with your makeup wipe, you can wash your face, and then after that on a cotton swab, or you know cotton ball or whatever you put some witch hazel and then you go over your face again and that will take off whatever is left over on your skin and yes there's stuff left over on your skin but because I am addicted to shopping because of YouTube you know witch hazel wasn't enough for me and I'm sure y'all heard the hype about Clarisonic and everything like that and I kind of got caught up in the hype for Clarisonic but I was not spending no $200 for no Clarisonic brush or nothing. I was not doing that. But what I did was take myself to Sephora and I got this like brush to, you know, clean my face after I put on makeup or taking off makeup, I should say. And I like it because the back of it has this like um, gel sort of a thing that I can use to massage my face after I do brush it. 
you know, with this brush. And though the, the bristles are soft, it still feels kind of harsh on my face. So I can't even imagine what it would feel like with the Clarisonic and having, you know, a motor like, you know, all over my face. Cause you know, it, it's still harsh for my face. Uh, I like it though. And it was $15, okay? I'm not spending $200 on my on Clarisonic. The Spiked Eyebrow Pencil. This is a staple, 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 staple in my makeup collection. I will forever and always buy this um, eyebrow pencil because it just keeps my eyebrows looking wonderful, marvelous, and fabulous. I do not regret this purchase at all. I recommend it. If you are looking for like an eyebrow pencil that's gonna give you precision, it, yes, it's $17, but it's 16 or 17, but it is well worth the money. And I thank every single beauty guru that has used this in their video that made me want to get this. And once I got it, I have not looked back. Love it. The Blender Cleanser Solid, you know, by Beauty Blender. Um, because me using regular soap, I guess this wasn't enough to clean my makeup brushes. I'm telling you, man, YouTube gets this hold on you and it just makes you just want to buy stuff, man. Um, but I do love it. As you can see, I do clean the product and I mean, I do use it to clean my makeup brushes. I hit pan and I have recently purchased another one for myself and I purchased one for my niece. <laughs> and last but not least, okay, um, the Camouflage Concealer Palette from BH Cosmetics. I got this palette only because of one color. One color, and that is this peachy color right here because I do have hyperpigmentation around my mouth and scarring on my chin. Um, you'll probably notice it in the videos. Um, so I try to mute that out with this shade. And I wasn't going to buy the expensive color correction palette from MAC when BH Cosmetic has one for a reasonable price, okay? And that basically wraps up my YouTube made me buy it tag. I feel like this tag is long as heck for me anyway because YouTube has taken my money. Taken my money and I don't know, somehow made me believe that I had it for them to take. For the most part, I don't regret um, my purchases, but this tag has made me realize that I need to get a grip. <laughs> Just because I see something on a video, it doesn't mean that I need it. I don't need, you know, many things. Like a lot of us, we really don't need many things and I need to get a grip and just stop buying things. <sighs> but, so thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.